Hey everyone, welcome back to the Legal Gangsta Network. Today we're diving into a question that surprises a lot of people. Can you get a DWI just for sleeping it off in your parked car? Spoiler alert, it's a lot more complicated than it seems. We're here to give you the details, break down Texas law, and let you know the factors that Texas courts consider in these situations. Let's start by looking at Texas law, specifically Texas Penal Code Section 49.04, which states that a person commits a DWI offense if they are intoxicated while operating a motor vehicle in a public place. But here's the twist. The word operating isn't clearly defined in the law. That means Texas courts interpret it pretty broadly, which can lead to charges even if you're not actually driving. So, what does operating mean if you're not driving? Texas courts have ruled that you can be considered operating a vehicle if you have what they call actual physical control. In simple terms, this means that if you're in a position where you could potentially drive, you may be at risk of a DWI. Factors that determine actual physical control include things like 1. Location of the vehicle where is your car parked? Is it on the side of a public road or in a private driveway? 2. Position of the driver. Are you in the driver's seat or the back seat? Sitting in the driver's seat can suggest control. 3. Engine and key location. Is the engine running or do you have the keys in the ignition? Even having keys nearby can indicate control. 4. Intent to drive. Are there signs you might start driving, like the seatbelt on or the car being turned on? Let's look at how this plays out in real cases. For example, in Texas versus Denton, a man was charged because he was found intoxicated in the driver's seat with the engine running, even though he wasn't driving. The court ruled he had actual physical control, which met the operating requirement. Another case, Texas versus Huddleston involved a driver who was found intoxicated in the driver's seat, keys within reach, although the engine wasn't running. The court still ruled that having the keys nearby suggested he could put the car in motion, and that was enough for a DWI charge. So, what does this mean for you? Essentially, if you're intoxicated and anywhere near the controls of a vehicle, even if you're not driving, Texas law could interpret that as operating. Parking the car and trying to sleep it off might seem like a responsible choice, but it doesn't always protect you from legal risks. To reduce your chances of facing a DWI while parked, here are some tips. 1. Park in a safe, private location. If possible, avoid parking on public roads. 2. Stay out of the driver's seat. Sit in the back seat or passenger side if you're going to sleep in the car. 3. Keep the keys out of reach. Store them outside of arm's reach, like in the glove box or trunk. 4. Don't start the engine. Even just turning the car on for heat or air conditioning can increase your risk. 5. Consider alternative options. Call a friend, ride share, or stay somewhere safe instead. Texas laws on DWI are strict and complex, especially when it comes to operating a vehicle while intoxicated. Hopefully this video gave you some clarity about how the law works and what steps you can take to stay safe and avoid potential charges. Remember, this video is for educational information only and not legal advice. If you're ever in a situation involving a DWI, contact a qualified attorney for help. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow our channel, Legal Gangsta Network, for more information on the Texas justice system and how to protect your rights. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.